Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss the topic is LDS in visual force. As part of this demo, we are going to learn how to include styles from LDS, how to include assets such as SVG icons and images, how to style existing visual force pages. So, to include styles from LDS in visual force page, you just need to include an element that is apex slds and set the attribute of page tag that is apply body tag or apply html tag to false and include slds scope class in element where you want to apply the slds style let's see and one more thing if you want to include svg icons or images from lds then you have to use HTML tag okay with XMLNS and then you have to include all your HTML body under this HTML along with this so wherever you have SVGs you have to use URL for method and a global variable asset dot SLDS okay so as you are including Apex SLDS, you don't need to include any static resources because SLDS, Apex SLDS element itself can take or can leverage the styles from Lightning Design System. Okay, that's the advantages of, that is the big advantage of Apex SLDS element. Now, to style existing Visual Force pages, you just need to add Lightning Style Sheets attribute to true. Then it applies lightning design system styles to your visual force page. Okay. And if you are designing a visual force page, if you want to have lightning design system elements or lightning design system styles on a visual force page, I recommend use blueprints from lightning design system. If you are going to create a new visual force page. Okay. Let's see practically how we can do so I'm going to create a visual force page welcome mat vf page now see here I am going this is my new visual force page okay and I want to include a welcome mat and I can customize in my own way that means I have a welcome mat blueprint in LDS if you see this let's go this this is the welcome mat okay these are all the blueprints component blueprints from lightning design system among this blueprints i want to use this welcome mat i want to include this welcome mat and i want to customize accordingly okay that means i may change the text whatever i want here the main intention is how can we include this blueprints or a complete lightning design system styles into visual force okay let's see so i'm not going to do anything here if you see here show code copy I copied and pasting here. And make it indent format document. Then now let's deploy this. So if you observe here, it is saying this the prefix xlink for attributes xlink href associated with the element type use is not found because you didn't include xlmns, right? So you didn't include xlink. So to support xlink, what you have to do? First of all, you have to include whenever you have xlinks. You have to include this HTML tag. Okay, 
with XMLNS. So simply add this and end here. Done. Now let's try to save. Okay, done. Now we have created welcome mat VF page in that we took welcome mat blueprint from lightning design system. Okay, and added into welcome VF page, welcome mat VF page. So let's see how it looks like. Till now, I resolved the issue <coughs> to use X links. Okay, by using this HTML tag, but I didn't use Apex SLDS element till now. Let's see how it looks like. Let's go to this. Okay. And here we can see our page welcome mat preview. See, nothing is applied, but something is there because it took all the information, whatever we have in the welcome mat blueprint, and it has this way. But it should have proper look, right? That means it should be able to inherit lightning design system styles. So what we have to do? So you just need to include Apex SLDS. So let's see, let's go step by step. See, it looks like exact welcome mat how we see in lightning design system. See, so see here, there is no any difference, but I say there is a difference, right? So these icons are not coming. If you see here, right side on our visual force page, we don't have icons, but in our welcome mat, we have icons from lightning design system in lightning design system, right? Let's see what we have to do now. We have to use our syntax for icons. See here, URL for, right? And asset SLDS. So where do we have icons? Let's go with this. So here, what I'm going to do, use this syntax. Okay, URL for okay, and make it in single quotes, whatever you have. Now try to save. <clears throat> See, you got one icon. Like that, you can add all icons. So simply, what I am doing, I am just using URL for method and asset global variable. See here. Same way.
syntax problem it is. So let us see the output now. See you got icons also. Now if you see here there is black background. If you want to make it completely like a lightning experience white background and all you just need to apply HTML body tag equals false. So what is going to happen? Let's see. See, it comes back, background is light, white background, but there is no any design. Now, what you have to do in this situation, what you have to do, you have to add SLDS scope class for your elements. So, this is the parent element, right? Where you have to add this SLDF scope class. Let's see. So, let's save this. So, now let's see the look and feel. See, it looks like good. So, what we did, we just copy pasted welcome mat blueprint from lightning design system to visual force and to get the same look and feel i applied apex sLDS element in visual force and to support x links i added this html okay and to support the svgs or icons i have to use url for method along with asset to global variable okay if you want to customize a text or if you want to change the text and all you can change see here i will change welcome to uh, here if you see here i'll change here welcome to sales post textbook so according to your needs you can change this see welcome to salesforce textbook this is how you can change okay and you can use here you are using icons from slds instead you can use your own icons also by including in S, uh, in static resource but for now what you are using you are trying to get whatever we have in lightning design system and how we can get as ease and after that you can modify also so this is how you can include lightning design system in a visual force page now this is a new visual force page right then if you want to make or if you want to make this kind of or if you want to apply lightning design system on existing visual force page when you open this visual force page in the lightning experience then what you have to do you just need to include lightning design system lightning style sheets so for example if you take this, this is account creation page, right? This is existing visual force space. It looks like this. And I am in lightning experience only. So if you see this, I am in lightning experience. Okay. Switch to Salesforce class. So that means I am in lightning experience only. Okay. If it is appearing next. So let's change this existing visual force space to lightning look and feel okay lightning experience look and feel what we have to do we just need to go to account creation page we just need to use 
lightning design system equal to true lightning style sheets equals true see how it looks like it looks like lightning experience look and feel and if you want to add see now these are all the visual force based elements or tags right and if you want to add mix of visual force elements and blueprints also from lightning design system then you you can use both combination of lightning lightning style sheets attribute equals true and apex sLDs also okay for example now i have this i just want to include tiles here if you want so for example i am giving you example only you can do other things also so i am taking this one so the same look and feel i am just including here okay let's see how it looks like so this is completely a blueprint from lightning design system this is tiles right so just i need to salesforce ux first label last label or second label so let's see how it looks like see how it looks like salesforce ux first label description this like this but if you see here salesforce ux is the header here first label and beside first label you have this but in your page it is under first label that means it is not applied properly right the styles is not applied properly what you have to do you just need to use apex sld sldes right that means when you have the combination of visual force components and sldes components then you can use both lightning style sheets equals true and sLDs and you if you have x links also you know what to do now see it looks like same so let's go to tiles same way and here also same way. this is how you can include lightning design systems or lightning design system styles or uh, icons or images into visual force easily okay one is apex sLDs if you want to include sLDs components completely and another one is if you want to style existing visual force page yes you just need to include lightning style sheets true okay and if you want to use combination of or if you want to apply combination of lightning i mean visual force components and lightning design system blueprints or lightning design systems components then you can use both okay so along with this we have some considerations here so lightning style sheets attribute is not is isn't supported in community communities and it doesn't support render as pdf also okay and almost it supports all kind of visual force elements see here these are all the elements it supports lightning styles okay and we may have a few considerations whenever you have you just need to adjust the styles okay this is how you can work with lightning design system in visual force so you have references here i will include these references in our video descriptions all the best please subscribe to our salesforce tech book